Hey everybody, welcome back to another special edition. I'm actually gonna be leaving town this week, so I'm not gonna be able to film, and I am gonna take you instead on a special tour of a new listing we have in Montecito, not too far from this beach right here. I'm at the end of San Ysidro Road at Miramar Beach, one of my favorites as a kid growing up surfing here. So many great memories hanging out in the summer and playing with the friends and whatnot. So. I'm going to check the beach real quick and then we're going to go over and take a deep dive look in this townhouse we have listed over on Jameson Lane. Villa de Montecito is the name of the association. Really cool spot there with a pool, a jacuzzi, and not far from the beach. This beach right here that we're going to go check out. Now, if you've never been to Miramar Beach, it's definitely worth putting on the list to check out. Not only do you have this stairs and ramp access down to the sand, you could also take the trail to the right before this ramp and staircase and follow that trail to Hammond's Meadow, where there's an amazing beach there with a reef out there, great surf spot. This is Miramar Beach, just south of Hammond's Meadow. So this little area here, super fun to hang out. Very beautiful with the mountains so close in the background. And you can see down there the Rosewood Miramar Resort. Amazing oceanfront. And they've recently put out for summer. They've got the platform out there for the kids and adults to swim out to and hang out test their ocean prowess and you could see looking down to Carpinteria there and then we got the flotilla of boats a lot of locals will take their boat out of the harbor and bring it down here and hang out in this cove in Montecito so just a beautiful place to hang out and we're really kicking off summer here love these houses here on Edgecliff Lane one of the only places that's set right over the water at high tide inside that building there I sold it a long time ago it felt like you were in a boat really really nice spot here so this is super close to our new listing that we're going to be showing you just on the other side of the freeway down one exit so let's go take a look at it now all right pulling away from the beach here which is only a couple of blocks from the freeway of course there's the train tracks we just went over all saints by the sea church up here we've got some great clouds today feels real tropical in santa barbara there's a lot of uh wispy clouds and a sense of humidity in the air so it's definitely got the tropical influence happening but one thing i love about this association over here is even though it's close to the freeway and that will stop some people because you can't hear the freeway although there is a really nice sound wall there now you'll see when i show you the place but the access to the upper and lower village is easy. The freeway, you could get on right there and that gets you anywhere in just a couple minutes. So, you know, you could be in downtown Santa Barbara in literally five minutes if there's no traffic. So, all of those reasons, I really like this location over here and it's close to the beach. So we are going to make our way past the Rosewood amazing spot there even if you're not staying there go check check it out have a drink have some food out there look at the ocean especially on a day like today all right navigated that quick on-ramp Making my way swiftly through the 101 construction. You can see here on my left that sound wall that I was talking about. Great job buffering the sound over here. And you can see Shark's Cove to the right. That's what the locals call it. Fernald Point, also known as. It's our first little indicator on a surf check going down south, but. Now, if you can find a way to hike through this, which I think there is a way to get down to the beach from here, it'd be really easy to get to the beach. But you can see here, 
straight ahead, Villa de Montecito. And what we've got are two entrances, both secured by a gate. So that's real nice. And this one here, I'm gonna buzz us in. You can do keypad or I've got a fob. And there's two parking spots right out here as well. So that's pretty clutch. And it's this first unit right here. So that's the balcony up above. You could see there with the green chairs. So, you know, it's really convenient to buzz your people in and, and that's got some ocean views. I'll show you from up there. And this is what the community's looking like. And it's got a pool and a jacuzzi and a clubhouse. And uh, you got two carport parking spots. So this is one of them. This is the far one and the other one close. So again, major convenience and it's an end unit. So you get extra light. So, all right, let's go check it out. All right, folks, here's the lay of the land. This is North Jameson, just on the other side of this sound wall, which is doing a great job. I could hardly hear the freeway. Is the 101 freeway, and then Shark's Cove, uh, the uh, point there just south of Miramar, all right? So to get your bearings, this is Villa del Montecito. It's a gated community with a pool, a spa, a clubhouse, some cool old Spanish architecture. This gate here, this is the northernmost gated entry point of the community has these nice guest parking spots here so the gates open right now because i'm actually at an open house and uh i am not going to be as you know putting out the video of the tour because i'll be out of town next week for broker caravan tour so i thought i'd take the time to really do a deep dive on this one and give you a full tour of what it has on offer including the amenities of the association. So here at Villa del Montecito, incredibly convenient, you know, cause you're right on the edge of the freeway. So the downside, yes, you could hear it. The upside, you're super convenient. You could get into town either way um, really quickly. And so that's nice. And then you also have the villages of Montecito all nearby. So these are the two parking spots that come with the unit. You could see there the address 1930A, North Jameson A. And it's also an end unit. So before I go in, let me show you that this is a premium location in my opinion, because being on the end, you got more privacy, you have more light. And then it also being on the front row there, it has a peak of the ocean upstairs. And that's the only section in this community that would offer up a feature like that. So, you know, the noise seems to be about the same throughout the community, even a little less in the back, but um, you don't get that ocean view. And it's actually, the sound wall does do an incredible job. So here we are. First thing that strikes me when I came into this unit is the volume of the ceiling and that cool Kiva style fireplace. And then also, I love the window seat. It's just a great way to add extra seating. And then the open staircase there, there's an accent color on it, but that's easy to make it your own. That's how the owners had it. Really a lot of natural light coming in here. And plus you have that box window and this extra window in the dining area, which most units do not have. So that's nice. Super cute fireplace. Love the shape of it. I love how it goes all the way up to the top and it has that nice soft curve to it. And then being that this place is about 1,250 square feet, every square inch counts. So here's a flex space, can become a workstation, I think, under the steps. You have a pantry to extend the storage of your kitchen is super nice. Now the kitchen's, I think, really attractive. You got wood, butcher block countertops, shaker cabinets, nice kind of modern tile and hood details, stainless steel fridge, 
the hardware is matching and then softens it up with the farm style sink. I think that's a real nice touch. Beautiful walnut flooring. Looking back at the living room and there is a bedroom downstairs here, but before we do that, notice the change in sound. I'm going to show you the patio where you could hear the freeway more. These are dual pane windows, but as I open this, we'll just be quiet here and notice the change. All right, so, you know, it's definitely noticeable, but I think the perception is that it's worse than it is. And again, that sound wall is doing amazing things. So there is this structure above that's supposedly coming out by the association and you have a gate there. So there's a pedestrian entrance, um, ingress and egress for the community. So that's nice. But we do have a bedroom downstairs and a bathroom here on this one. So. You have closets here. I just went past one linen closet. There's a second one in this hallway. Plus this bedroom has a closet and laundry. And I'm gonna take you over after we tour the unit, I'll take you over and show you the amazing pool. It's really, really beautiful. Great pool deck. There's the laundry machines. And a really big clubhouse. Bathrooms, his and her bathrooms spa, lounge chairs. I mean, it feels like you're on vacation and the maturity of the landscape around here is really incredible. Some beautiful trees. It was heartbreaking to see some of the trees come out with the freeway expansion because we had this majestic kind of two lane freeway that had this median with big, huge mature trees that had to go for the expansion. And so um, some of the trees in this community remind me of those. It's what Montecito is kind of known for. It's green foliage, the beautiful nature that's just around every corner of these little visions. So we're gonna go up here, the steps. I love how you look down below. And then we land to more storage, a little linen closet. This bedroom here is probably one of my favorites because it has the vaulted ceiling with the extra windows up there. You also have a nice balcony closet plus extra storage up there where we have a finished attic space. And this is that ocean view I was talking about. So, you know, a little bit of islands. It's something, right? You could do a traffic report too if you want to get on the, on the radio. All right, it's a nice little balcony. I love the light in here too. This is definitely for the early riser, this room. Okay, and then another beautiful bedroom up here. Again, ceiling height expanded beautifully. Wow, now that's loud, okay. So that was the loudest thing I've heard since I've been here. Some guy with a modified exhaust system just went by. Uh, that does happen. All right, and then here's the upstairs bathroom. So no primary with a designated bathroom. So something to, um, that was gonna be a compromise for a lot of people on their wish list, but I think it's worthwhile with all these bonuses that this place offers. And it also has great amenities, which I'll show you next here as we go make our way through the community over towards the pool and spa. All right. All right, now I'm gonna take you on a little walk over to the pool. So if you leave your unit and you're living here, let's say this is your lock it and leave it Montecito crib. This is how you would meander through this community. And another thing about it, look at, see what I mean about the trees and everything? There's an assessment of 15 grand being applied to everybody that uh, the owners have already paid. So there's gonna be a lot of nice capital improvements coming. 
So that's really nice. And here's the pool. This beautiful setting. Look at this landscape. So nice. And then across from the pool up here is the clubhouse. So this is a really nice area. You've got this big deck plus a big room that accommodates many people and a uh, kitchen. So there we go. I don't want to film these guys too much, but look at this bitchin' deck and everything. And then this is the setting. I love all these trees. So it's all fenced and gated, fully secure. Plenty of lounge chairs, plenty of tables. Look at that nice big vaulted ceilings in there. This has got a fireplace, kitchen. So you could reserve this and accommodate a big party, big family celebrations, no problem. But people don't stay in your house, you know? They have to go stay in a hotel. So that's nice. So that's what's on offer here. The association fee is uh, $1,150 a month, which is on the high side. But you got to remember that it includes all of this, all these amenities, the pool, the spa, the laundry room, the clubhouse, the clubhouse kitchen. Plus, it includes the gated property, and it includes water and trash. That's a unique one, water. And the insurance costs have gone way up, so that's also reflected in the association fee. So this is the other path back to the unit. So I'm taking you on two ways. This skirts along the um, carport. So that $11.50 a month is going to be high and shocking to some, but you got to understand it covers a lot. And the insurance includes earthquake, fire, and some part of this association has flood insurance. So with all that said, this is a great little lock it and leave it opportunity here in Montecito. 1930 North Jameson unit a one of a kind opportunity to get into the Montecito Union School attendance area for under one and a half million dollars check it out all right everyone that's a wrap I know it's a quick video today, really focusing in on this unit here, and uh, I'll be back at it next week when I'm back in town to hit Caravan Tour again. Appreciate you all watching. I'm Joe Parker with the Santa Barbara Group Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate. This channel is all about taking you on tours of Santa Barbara and giving you the inside scoop on our neighborhoods and what it's like to live here, pros and cons, all that good stuff. So if it sounds of interest to you, subscribe to the channel. Make this a place that you check out. I'll be putting out videos weekly for you to see the new inventory. And I have a ton on here as well for you to go ahead and scavenge through. Look at some of the stuff I've done here and learn more about Santa Barbara, my hometown. Joe Parker with the Santa Barbara Group Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate. Peace, everybody.